Tsavo West National Park is located in the coast province of Kenya. The park covers an area of 9,065 square kilometers. The A109 road Nairobi-Mombasa and a railway divides it from the adjoining Tsavo East National Park. Together with adjoining ranches and protected areas, they comprise the Tsavo Conservation Area. Tsavo West is a more popular destination on account of its magnificent scenery, Mazima Springs, rich and varied wildlife, good road system, rhino reserve, rock climbing potential and guided walks along the Tsavo River. The park is operated by Kenya Wildlife Service. <laughs> Archaeology and history Although a few early Stone Age and Middle Stone Age archaeological sites are recorded from ground surface finds in Savo, there is much evidence for thriving Late Stone Age economy from 6,000 to 1,300 years ago. Research has shown that Late Stone Age archaeological sites are found close to the Galana River in high numbers. The inhabitants of these sites hunted wild animals, fished and kept domesticated animals. Because of the sparse availability of water away from the Galana River, human settlement in Savo focused on the riparian areas and in rock shelters as one moves west. Swahili merchants traded with the inhabitants of Savo for ivory, catskins, and probably slaves as early as 700 AD and probably earlier. There is no evidence for direct Swahili colonization of Savo. Instead, trade was probably accomplished by moving goods to and from the Swahili coast via extended kin networks. Trade goods such as cowrie shells and beads have been recovered from archaeological sites dating to the early Swahili period. 19th century British and German explorers document people we now refer to as Orma and Wada during their travels through the Nika and generally viewed them as hostile toward their interests. Beginning in the late 19th century, the British began to colonize the interior of Kenya and built the Uganda Railway through Savo in 1898. The construction of the railway was noted for the killings of a number of construction workers in 1898, during the building of a bridge across the Savo River. Hunting mainly at night, a pair of mainless male lions stalked and killed at least 28 Indian and African workers, although some accounts put the number of victims as high as 135. The lions, dubbed the man-eaters of Savo, were eventually shot and killed by the bridge construction supervisor, Lt. Col. John Henry Patterson. The skins and skulls are now displayed in the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago. Savo remained the homeland for Orma and Maasai pastoralists and Wada hunter-gatherers until 1948, when it was gazetted a national park. At that time, the indigenous populations were relocated to Voi and M. Tito Ande as well as other locations within the nearby Taita Hills. Following Kenyan independence in 1963, hunting was banned in the park and management of Savo was turned over to the authority that eventually became the Kenya Wildlife Service. Savo currently attracts photo tourists from all over the world interested in experiencing the vastness of the wilderness and incredible terrain. Rock climbing In 1978 Bill Woodley, then the warden of Savo West, invited the Mountain Club of Kenya to explore the cliffs in the park. The setting for climbers is superb with elephant roaming the plains below the cliffs and eagles, vultures and falcons circling on thermals around the crags with Kilimanjaro frequently visible on a clear day. The rock climbing is some of the best in Kenya, solid nice walls are often covered in holds and free of vegetation. Cracks and corners abound, but tend to be more vegetated. The most impressive piece of rock, the 300 meters high east face of Kichwa Tembo, attracted the first explorers and resulted in the ascent of Great Savo Chimney. Mastodon took three visits before it was completed. A more recent route, Ivory Tower on Elephant Rocks, ranks with the best and hardest bush climb in Kenya. Generally pegs need not be carried. Unless climbing in the shade, an early start is advisable as it often gets very hot on clear days. The permit the MCK has to climb here, and to camp by the Savo River, is a special privilege and every effort must be made not to jeopardize this situation by careless actions. Other climbers should initially contact the MCK if wishing to climb here. Details of climbs and access procedures, Rock Climbing Guide to Kichwa Tembo. Topic. Wildlife 
Savo West National Park has a variety of wildlife, such as eastern black rhinoceros, hippopotamus, cape buffalo, elephant, leopard and lion. There are also other smaller animals that can be spotted in the park, such as the bushbaby, hartebeest, lesser kudu and Maasai giraffe. See also Mazima Springs, a series of natural springs and pools, famous for its hippo and crocodile populations Savo the local region Savo East adjoining National Park, founded 1948